Do New Yorkers love candy? You better believe it at this new art installation that's right in the middle of Midtown. And yes, for the love of God, I am stuck in a pool of marshmallows. That's right, it's an entire museum dedicated to candy. It's a temporary installation in Midtown Manhattan, Candytopia. And you know what, I checked it out here recently and I'm gonna bring you along with me, so get out that sweet tooth as we explore some candy, some fun, some art, some interactive creativity in the place known as Candytopia. Candytopia, located on West 32nd Street inside the Hotel Pennsylvania, New York City, is a candy lovers and social media lovers paradise. For your $36 adult ticket or $26 for kids, you get the interactive candy experience of a lifetime, complete with free samples. You enter on 32nd Street and are immediately greeted by an old fashioned New York City taxi cab and streetscape. After a brief speech, the gates are open and you proceed to the first room. They love it when you take social media here, so charge up your phones and get ready to Instagram and YouTube to your heart's content. Hey, I didn't know there was a pub. It's another holding area where you hear the story of Candytopia. All right, everybody, welcome. The ceiling is covered in crazy clocks. The crowd is instructed to stand near the clock they think is full of candy, and surprise, one drops and guests scoop up their first free candy treat. Then it's down a funhouse-type narrow hallway to another room where you can take pictures with a logo, and here's where you can glimpse a piece of Hotel Pennsylvania history, the iconic fountain from their historic restaurant now incorporated into Candytopia. You arrive at another gate, and after a Times Square-like countdown, you're in to the mainland. The first room is a giant garden playland featuring Madame Tussauds figure. We knew Katy Perry would make an appearance. A giant lolly that was actually plastic, not candy, and a giant swing that I had no shame climbing aboard. After another free sample, we take this connecting light tube to the next room. Ooh, trippy. Suddenly, we're in an art gallery. Now each picture is made out of tons of individual pieces of candy. A Warholish Hind soup, the Mona Lisa, and even Marilyn Monroe. Here's the Statue of Liberty made out of a zillion Jelly Belly brand jelly beans. And here's another Statue of Liberty made out of every green kind of candy you can imagine. Next to each display is a sign telling of how many candies and how many man hours it took to create. That's dope. Now this is supposed to be the Sphinx in Egypt, but I actually think the Luxor Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. After pausing on some random mirror chair for another selfie, it's on to the next room, the Ocean Room. Excuse me, kind sir, may I ask you a question? You'll instantly be transported under the sea. There's all kinds of underwater candy fish, from a stingray to a shark, and of course, more selfie opportunities. So how do you follow up the underground installation? With the room whose centerpiece is a farting pig. Hey! Happy New Year! <laughs> There's confetti everywhere and no guests can escape it. Look, even more pigs! It's like New Year's gone mad with a confetti party that leads on to another room with a psychedelic wall and this familiar looking emoji. Now down another hall with an inspirational saying from Charlie Brown's creator, you're into the show-stopping pool of marshmallows. You've never seen anything like this before and everyone is allowed into the pool, minus your shoes. The staff carefully limits the time each group can enter, or some kids would spend the rest of their childhood there. It's like a bad I love Lucy sketch. Now, spoiler alert, the pool is not actually marshmallows, but more like giant marshmallow foam-like pieces. Now, once you've had your fill of the pool, or they chase you out, that's the end of the fun, except of course you get to exit through the traditional gift shop. But wait a minute, only a few months ago, this was actually the Statler Grill, a longtime New York City bar and steakhouse. But now that your sweet tooth is craving more, you have the chance to load up on some unusual candies before leaving the fantasy land known as Candytopia. So yeah, I gotta admit, I had a really great time at Candytopia. I brought the inner child and me and the 
free candy samples all over were great too. I mean, okay, fun size though for me that was like mega big, like a Winnebago size. These little itty bitty candy bars, I can pop them like nothing. But hey, you know what? It's definitely a social media sensation. The art installations, I have to respect the fact that each one of those pieces of candy took hours and hours to make and put that all together. And it's only a temporary thing right now. I know it's available in San Francisco and traveling in other places of the country. So check them out, Google them online to see if it's coming to your city because it won't be in New York that long. It's a limited time edition. But uh, one thing is always here for you, my web show. So click that like and subscribe button down below. You don't miss any more fun on here, the brew and online gambling at Jersey Joe. So much going on social media and I love it. And it's a great time seeing you here each and every week. Your net friend Jersey Joe saying thanks for watching. I go brush my teeth now for all that candy, but I'll see you next time. I hope.